energy is all around us. But what kind of terms can science use to describe all these incredibly different types of waves that we observe? We talked about amplitude in the last program. Next up is frequency. I went to Croatia to investigate. As you can see, the waves here are quite low amplitude ones. Although the frequency is relatively high for sea waves. Oh, that was close. I went to Thailand to find out more. But tragically found out nothing about frequency due to a mystery illness. So what does frequency actually mean? Actually, that's a really good point. What, what does frequency actually mean? Does, does anyone know? Do you know? I don't know. Why should I? Sorry. Yeah, right. Yeah, I know I'm supposed to be a science presenter, but, but I am a physicist, but that's not the point. I mean, I, I, I frequently wonder what frequency means, to be honest. I uh, suppose we should really go look it up, find out. Good idea, yeah. Yeah. I went on the Caribbean cruise to find out more. Can you edit that together, Brian? So it looks, yeah, so it's seamless, yes, yeah, so we don't look like idiots again, do we? You will do that, Brian. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Has anyone actually ever thought about writing a script? I mean, I, I know it's revolutionary, it's, it's but, you know, it could work. We have to. We're going to get a pen as well, shall I? Frequency is the number of waves that pass a point each second. As you can see here in the Caribbean. It could be seen if we weren't filming it at night. I mean, who planned this? It's not even the Caribbean, it's the North Sea. Its frequency is measured in Hertz. This means that if two waves pass a point in one second, the source has a frequency of two hertz. If ten waves pass that point in one second, it has a frequency of ten hertz. If a thousand waves pass that point in one second, it has a frequency of a thousand hertz, or one kilohertz. There's something wrong with your voice. What do you mean there's something wrong with my voice? I'm communicating. You're communicating, scientifically. Frequency can also be thought of as the number of waves generated per second. Why are we filming this at night? What, so they don't recognise as the North Sea? Good idea. Let's see how the frequency of a wave affects things in everyday life. Here we are, Catherine Cisco. A crow for short. Let's start with sound waves. Oh, oh, oh that's quite loud. High frequency sound waves have a very high pitch. Whereas low frequency sound waves have a very low pitch. Oh, it sounds like a bump. Sorry, be quiet. Sorry. Note, for a high frequency, the waves appear very close together on the oscilloscope screen, whereas for a low frequency, the waves are far apart. See what I did there? Great science communication. Yes. Quite annoying, that. That's not that as well, shall I? I mean, quite annoying today, aren't I? Not just today. What, not just today? Different frequencies of light wave are detected as different colours by our eyes. Red light has the lowest frequency and violet light has the highest. Different frequencies of radio microwaves also affect us in our everyday lives. The satellite box connected to my TV here scans for channels at different frequencies. Each TV channel has its own frequency that it broadcasts at. For example, the transponder here is it has a frequency of 12109 MHz. Remember, 1 MHz is a million oscillations per second. That's huge. So the microwaves from space, in this case, they're oscillating billions and billions of times per second. I mean, just whoa, that's just whoa, it's incredible. Whoa. Right, that sounds a bit dodgy. Yeah, whoa. Yeah. Sounds a bit weird, that. It sounds like I'm in a carry on film or something, a bit well, dirty. Can, can you edit that, Brian? Yeah. I feel ashamed. Radios also will pick up different frequencies. Each station has to broadcast at a particular frequency, and that's how we can tune into different ones. Marvellous! And don't forget, mobile devices and Wi-Fi all operate at specific frequencies. Then there's microwave ovens. They make use of the concept of frequency in a very clever way. Microwave ovens produce microwaves of a very specific frequency. This is because they need to cause resonance in the water molecules. This causes the water molecules to vibrate with a greater amplitude, which reduces heat and allows the food to cook. So another glorious day draws to an end on our lovely Caribbean cruise ship, the Costa Pike A. So, what marvellous facts have we learnt which didn't require me to go to the Caribbean? The frequency of a wave is the number of waves that pass a point per second. It's measured in hertz. Frequency can also be thought of as the number of waves generated per second. The frequency of a sound wave changes its pitch, whereas the frequency of a light wave changes its colour. And also, different frequency of radio waves and microwaves have a variety of uses around the home and the communications. Till the next time, for more marvels of science.
Brian. Brian, I think your hair's on fire. No, no, really. 